Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Lost Judgment. So we're going to continue the school story of the Mystery Research Club and we're going to end the school stories today. Let's see what happens, right? Let's go. Okay, it looks like the lights are off. Maybe I should just take a quick peek inside anyway. Yep, this place is deserted. No surprise, their gangs usually don't keep their hideouts once they get made, unless they have a good reason. So what do you do here then? Hmm. Hmm. This was a bust. There's a lot of dudes outside. Okay. <laughs> here you are, Yagami. Hokusan really did call it. I don't really have time to deal with you. Well, we've got our order, so you'd better get ready to bleed out. The UK hint punks. Or Rocky. There's no end to them. Oh, Honda. What's up? The small fly uh, fry is boring you, Yagami-san? I was gonna say Yagamishi. Okay, now this is becoming an official pain in the ass. Huh? huh? What the hell are you? Who's this? Oh, uh, Sakuma. Weak sauce. Gang up on a guy like that. Guess you need to learn your lesson or two, huh? Oh, that's a uh, Doroki boxing boys are here. Dumbass. I don't give a shit if you're boxers or pro wrestlers or whatever. He still has his belt on. <laughs> Former OPBF champ, go Todoroki. Coach. Can I jump in too? Yeah. Get him, Mushikiri. This for Yagami. We're all running wild tonight. Kill him. <laughs> Yeah. Are we gonna fight, fight Honda? Hey. Hey, Meathead, I'm up first. Oh, Shakir's gonna fight him. Kenyakun. Kenyakun, looking sharp. I guess giving your dad the all one-two really put some hairs on your chest, huh? Okay, where's Pops anyway? Mm. Oh, he's done for. I guess he whooped his ass a little too good, huh? He just gets shit faced all day, every now, pissing and moaning about how he lost his wife and What's kid. That? My dad is. But hey, none of that matters now that we're, we're all here, does it? <laughs> I can't believe I get to fight Yagami san and Kenya kun today. This is the best day of the year. See you later. I've got to go find your boss. Sorry, everybody, but you've got this from here. Yeah. No worries. See you around. Hey. Don't be down, me, Ted. I'm more than enough for you alone. Can't lose. Now bring it. Come on. You ought to watch your map, Kenya Kun. I don't blame. Don't blame me if I send you crying to daddy. Thank goodness for the Rokin's crew. 
but I'm out of clues. Hmm? Ishizono? Yeah? Yagami-san! Hello, Yagami-san. I found it. The license plate you're looking for. What was that? Where? So... In front of the office complex in Hiyake Alley. There's a shady looking guy outside too. I'll send you a picture. Oh, Koga. Okay. <laughs> the rabbits are there. That means we know where his hideout is. Excuse me. Okay, I'll keep an eye on him for now. Can you be here soon? I actually thought this was, uh, this was Amasawa. <laughs> because the hair of there were similar. Yeah. That's why I was like, oh, the rabbits. Oh, Nishizono was the one talking to us. I'll head over there right now. But if he it gets dangerous, get out of there immediately. Got it? Let everyone else know you found the car too. Okay? Yeah. Got it. Alright, time to head out. Oh, you're right here. Yaki Alley. New York City hot dogs. Nishizono Takanashi. Okay, where did the guy with the sunglasses go? The one from the picture. So. Oh, it looks like he left someone else in charge and took off somewhere. I see. I wouldn't want him spotting me or spotting me from there anyway. Hey, hey Yagami-san, that room up there on the third floor, the only one with the lights on, is that where Kotoko is? Yeah. Probably. Excuse me. Okay, what are you gonna do, Yagami-san? The third floor, huh? I guess I'll have to sneak in. Huh? You're gonna sneak in alone? Yeah. Yeah, it's more convenient that way. I'll probably have to talk talk things out with her first. Go to go. Hmm? I'm a saw was calling. Sorry. Hello? What's up? Hello, Yagami-san. I did some research on Itakura-san's parents. Amasawa. Did you find anything? Itakura-san's father passed away in a traffic accident back when she was still a middle schooler. Okay, come to think of it, I remember hearing from Takanashi that Itakura lives just with her mom. Yes. Not only that, I also learned that her father was a brilliant programmer. He was a network engineer for some high-profile company. And he taught Itakura-san computer programming from a very early age. I see. Okay, I see. Itakura got her skills from her dad. By the way, uh, what did her mom have to say about her? Well... Actually, Yagami-san, her mom's currently hospitalized. Hmm? Really? Um, Why? Apparently, she's rather sickly. She's been hospitalized for a while now. Huh? Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, when I saw her mom in her weakened state, I couldn't bring myself to talk about the case. No, that's fine. But if she doesn't have any parents at home, that means... Yes. Yeah, she's been all alone for quite some time. I see. Hmm? Is that... What's up, Amasawa? Sorry, I'll be hanging up now. Okay, what? She hang up? Why did you do that? Okay. Well, thank you both so much for your help. It's getting late, so could you let the other rabbits know they can head home now? Are you gonna be okay in there? Yeah, you just get the rabbits off the streets and leave the rest of me. Sure thing. Yagami-san, take good care of Kotoko, okay? Hop a step. Rabbits. <laughs> All right, let's get to the third floor. I just start by finding a good climbing spot. Hopus tebe rabbits. Okay, I see it already here. But yeah, they said it the hop step rabbit in English for the first time, right? <laughs> last time, last episode. They will always use the Japanese one, even though we are using English dub. Okay, get inside the window. Where is it, Takura? Okay, sorry for hanging up on you before. 
I was calling the hospital where Itakura-san's mom is staying when I noticed some suspicious individuals. I took a quick picture, so sending sending it to you now. Oh! It's them. Sakakiba. Kasai. Okay, these guys are... They're new Kane gang members, correct? Thank you so much, Amasawa. I'm real busy now, but I'll update you soon. Understood. Photo from the hospital. Obtained evidence. Okay, what was the, the new Kane gang doing at the hospital? Hopefully, Itakura will be willing to explain. Also, I hope I don't run into Koga. Let's go. She's coding. Itakura. Ah. Ah. He's like, ah. Huh? Yagami-san, what are you doing here? I'm here to have a talk with what? you. You are? I see. Well, at least you can still talk. And it doesn't seem like they're restraining you here. Mm. Hey. Hey, what? Hey. Hey, Takura, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. How'd you like the MRC and the robotics club? Uh, what are you talking about? Because if you ask me, I'd say they were downright gratifying to you. Huh. I mean, eventually, you seem genuinely happy working on MRC duties and teaching soccer raccoon programming. I still remember all of us in the robotics club getting ramen together too. Look here. Okay, what do you actually want for, for me to call the guards? Hey. It's Akura. Don't you think you've already taken a huge step forward compared to when you stopped attending school and isolated yourself? What? It's Akura. I want the strength to survive on my own. That's totally fine. But you have the option of choosing a different life. That's what I think. The first big step. That first big step. That takes real courage. But Itakura, I know you have the courage now. You can break through the shell you've built around you. Oh. Come back to us. Come back to Sari with me. Oh. It's too late for that. What do you mean by that? Oh. Hmm? It's Akura? Really? Don't tell me. The things you did as a professor, did they really turn out how you wanted? Oh. Maybe at first your goal was to get the rest of the cultural festival committee to drop out. But, but is that really all it boils down to? You're telling me nobody's been whispering in your ear at the very least? What? What are you trying to say? I got proof you're being coerced into acting as the professor, at least to some degree. Okay, what do we show? Do we show her this? The photo? Yeah, I guess we show her this, right? Your mom. Apparently, Amasawa took a trip to the hospital that's caring for your mother. What? How dare she? And this is a photo she took from outside your mother's room. I believe those guys are with the Neo Kahin gang. And I know exactly how low they'll stoop. Threats and coercion are just the tip of the iceberg. What what are you saying? The crimes, the delinquency. Tell me, how many how much of that was your own idea? Uh, well, uh, I <sighs> The Neo Kahin gang's essentially using my mother as a sort of insurance. Insurance? She's their ace in the hole, should I make any attempts to betray them. But it's not like I'm being directly threatened or something. You sure about that? Yagami-san, my working relationship with the gang is not one built on trust. We're both fully aware we're using each other. 
But it's not like I completely lose out in this arrangement. I'm willing to accept the risks. So you're saying you actually want to keep all this up? I told you. I'm building the strength to stand alone. Obviously, that means I don't need your help. Is that true, though? Aren't you being blackmailed? That's not something you can work out on your own. Just drop it! Or do I need to call backup? Oh. I've made my decision. I'll be fine on my own. So just... Just leave me alone, got it? God damn it. So stubborn. I doubt I'm going to win her over like this. That means I'm out of options for now. I'll try again once I come up with a new strategy. I get it. It's your life. So it's your call. I'll leave you to stew on that for a while. But if you ever need my help, all you have to do is tell me. You've got my number? Hit me up and I'll be there. <sighs> Alright. I get it. Okay, she's okay, right? Help. Huh? What'd you just say, Itakura? <sighs> She's crying. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't do this. Please help. It's okay, Itakura. Help me, please. Oh, I really am being forced to do this. I... I can't leave. Or... They said they're gonna... They'll... They'll kill my mom. I... Like I said, all you had to do was tell me. Don't worry. I'll figure something out. Glad to hear it. I'm counting in you now, okay? Hey. What was that? <laughs> Whatever every, they all the time. Hey. I'm Yagami. Yagami san. <laughs> Who was that? Hmm. hmm. Oh, uh, just a friend. Hey. So Itakura, I'll ask you again. How much of this was your idea? Oh. All of it. I wanted to get revenge in the committee, just like you deduced. Maika was the first one. She posted the request about wanting to make some easy money. And that's when you suggested a sugar baby gig. Mm hmm I taught her everything, too. Date, plans, and find good marks to rip off. Even ex exit strategies for when things went south. Okay, did you know the reason to Kanashi wanted the money in the first place? Mm-hmm. No, I had no idea she wanted to cover my tuition. So, then what happened? Ma Micah gradually started making more trouble with her targets and I definitely didn't want her in any danger. So I decided to hire some protection. In other words... And that's when the new King gang showed up. I suppose. I suppose. Yep, they didn't seem to have any other jobs going. They took mine at a really low rate. But after that, everything started escalating with Koga and his crew. Eventually, they had me contributing to illegal enterprises of all sorts, not just those involving serious students. This is the Neo Kahin gang is really something else when it comes to evil. They never run out of ideas. It's almost like they know how to convert crime into cash. Once Koga and his men got involved, there was enough action that it was only natural for word about the professor to spread around town, let alone Serio High. Hey. Okay, when did the actual coercion start? Not long after I was first hired, I expressed my disapproval towards Koga and his gang approached me to criminal activity, particularly the extreme measures they often take. And I didn't expect that to go over well with them, I, but I never thought they'd do anything so heinous as to take my mother as hostage. I realize now how I made a deal with the devil all because of some stupid revenge I thought I deserved. Okay, let's just get out of here for now. Is it safe for me to leave though? I mean, my mom's. Hey. Don't worry, that's already taken care of. She's safe now. What? Really? Come on, Itakura. It's time to end this. We gotta destroy them. Got it. 
Okay, I'll trust you. Yeah, give me sand. You better. <laughs> Whoa! Yagami's killing him. Go to sleep, sir. Yagami son! Uh. Looks like we're busted. Professor, what's going on here? I don't believe this aligns with our agreement. Are we clear? You promised me once we assisted you in leading those eight students astray, you'd shift your focus to our our, our organization's work. <sighs> your people haven't exactly been sticking to your promise either. Didn't your crew take jobs under my name without my permission? Also, I never agreed to take advantage of the robotics expert. This is stupid. Do you prefer to think of those as examples of flexing our roles in the organization? More importantly though... Are you sure? Do you actually not care if something were to happen to your mom? Oh. Gasp. Oh, about that, Koga. You really think you've got the upper hand? What? Kogasan, we got a call from a hospital crew. What about? Is something wrong? Sounds like they started. Was it like Asugira? Uh. I'm tired. How long do we gotta keep watch? <sighs> I'm starving. I'm freaking starving, man. Oh, no, it's the Gira. It's the... It's Dan. Huh? Dan Murasaki. Yeah. Ghost. A ghost? What the fuck? What are they doing here? Hey. Hey, uh, what do you want? <laughs> we meet again, dead meat. Good thing you're already in the hospital. I'm not holding back like last time. Huh? Okay, you were? Should I make it so every joint in your body bends the other way? <laughs> oh shit! Kasai? Shit! We're effed. We're so effed. That guy's off his nut. <gasps> Back up. I'm getting back up. Okay, hey, wait for me. Okay, they left. Ghost and his boys. Listen up. We're on guard here 24-7 until Yagami finishes those guys. How can you even enter a hospital like that, right? <laughs> Are you even allowed to? Hey, Kasai, tell us what the hell are you doing? It's it's made in heaven. They got the hospital locked down. Hey! What is it, Kasai? We got them. Yagami. Your empire's crumbling. What do you do, Yagami? I just went there where you led me, Koga. What? What's that supposed to mean? Thanks to all the scheming you did while taking advantage of Itakura, I got led all over town, cleaning up your messes and making allies. I don't know who you're referring to. You got a gun still though. Return the professor to me now. Or die. Hmm? Oh, the robot. What? The robotic stuff. He took the gun. What? <laughs> What in the hell? He got electrocuted. The robots. Ooh. Okay, the, ro <laughs> the robotic slipper right there. Look at them behind Koga. 
nice one. Okay, Tigawa. Okay, it looks like we got the stun mechanic working just in time. Man, is this thing hard to steer? I'm 10 times more impressed with Yagami's sun skill now when, uh, than I was during the competition. Kurumazaki. Okay, look at that, Kurumazaki. The robot you wanted to make actually saved the day. Yeah, yeah it was a good design after all. Curse you, Yagami. It's a course, shield your eyes. Oh. Oh, bomber. Hmm? The hell is that? My eyes. How about some explosions? It's Junpei Hanazaki of the Bako and Raryu. Got a little present for you. Hot, 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 hot. My eyes. Ooh. All of my friends are here. Okay, let's go. Okay. Whoever can still move, follow me. I can't. I can't run anymore. Yagami san, what are we going to do? Koga should be on his way. What? Koga. There they are. I suppose you drew me away from my crew intentionally. No. No matter. With one call, they'll be here in moments. I wouldn't count on that. What? Going somewhere, jackass? Well, I think you're staying put till the police get here. <laughs> Rena. Let's get this fired up. Rena, coconut, and Rabuho. you do delay them off somehow no backup today koga it's finally over <sighs> professor you know how highly i value your skills uh you what i genuinely have the utmost respect for you please consider the value of our partnership so so you respected me by taking my mother hostage. Really? Didn't you threaten to taint her IV? Uh, that, that was simply a momentary lapse of judgment. I needed insurance in case you turned on us. Are you for real right now? Please, real? Professor. Consider your situation. Let's say you attempted to re-enter civilian life. Do you think society could put a proper value on you? No. Those odds are slim to none. Hammer the nail that sticks out. That's how society works. A cruel dog-eat-dog -dog world of deceit and sabotage. People masking their true selves every day, all to avoid the wrath of their peers and superiors. And no matter how hard you try to make it unscathed, someone will be waiting for the opportunity to use you. But, I'm sure you're more aware of this than most, aren't you? <sighs> Professor, 
So long as you attempt to conform to society, you will always feel constrained, even suffocated. However, the Neo Kahin Gang would see you flourish to your full potential, giving you the freedom and strength you desire. And we would be most appreciative of your talents. So, Professor, please, come back into the fold. <sighs> No matter what I do, I'm going to have to interact with people. In the back of my mind, I've known that all along. Mm -hmm. But whether I knew it or not, I kept pretending it wasn't true. Ever since the day I left Seiryo, that is, until Yagami-san told me that I have all the courage I need. Courage? So, I've decided I'm done lying to myself. Well, Koga, sounds like she's made up her mind. The professor's done with you and your gang. And as her advisor, I support her decision. That means she's coming with me, not you. What a shame. Truly a spoiled brat to the end. I don't know why I bothered trying to reason with you. <sighs> your performance is lackluster when you're forced to work. But it seems I have no choice in the matter anymore. Yagami, I'm taking you out right now. And you'll die knowing Kotoko Itokura will work for me until she's dead too. Finally, you're talking like someone I need to hit. Die, Yagami! Die, Yagami. <laughs> We're gonna lose now, sir. Okay, I need... I want to try some new stuff. Telekinesis. Oh, no, no, that one. Help, help, help. Okay, let's try another one. Uh, temporal Zen. No, no, no. Fire. Sorry for the holdup, Yagami-san. That Honda dude took us some time. Oh, looks to me like you're all good here. Ah. Yagami-san! So I guess we really cracked the case, huh? Yeah. Yagami-san, what are you going to do with these guys? Good question. They might blab about the professor if we turn him into the police, so... Dump him in the sea? What? You, you're joking, right? 
<laughs> Dump him in the sea. No need for the theatrics, Yagami-san. <laughs> I've already wiped every record of the professor's involvement with the neo Kahin gang. You can take them to the police now. <gasps> so there's no evidence of the professor left? In that case, it sounds like he's just another urban legend now. An urban legend? That's true. I doubt the police would even listen to a story about a high schooler's secret website where wishes were granted. I also doubt you'll find any reliable corroborating witnesses. So, dumped in the sea, taken to the station. What'll it be, Koga? Is running away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm done with Japan. My next empire shall grow overseas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is he uh planning to swim there or something? Actually, he did mention once he was in the swimming club in high school. He said he'd spent his entire youth in pools. Hopefully he doesn't wash up on the beach somewhere. I can't believe he just threw himself in the ocean. I'll destroy you one day! Just you wait! You got me! We did it. It's over. Thanks for the help, everyone. Finally, we're done. Kotoko! Thank God you're okay. Itokura-senpai! Let's work together again sometime. <sighs> you all know uh, what I did, right? The things I've put you through. <sighs> <sighs> I'm sorry. Oh, I should have. I, I need to own up to what I've done. Own up? How do you plan to do that, Itokura-san? What I've done is absolutely inexcusable. So, that's why I... I'm quitting Serio for good. No way. If you drop out of Serio, what will you do instead? I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll register at a vocational school and get a job to pay for it. Then, I guess... Get hired by some company, hopefully. It's not like I wouldn't be qualified. You can't do that! Please, don't quit! I'm sorry, Sakura. But Itokura will be so screwed if you leave... and... lonely, too. If I don't take responsibility for what I did to you, I'll never be able to get past this. Hold up. What? You don't need to be sorry for what you did. If anything, I'm grateful. It's thanks to you that I was able to get back into racing again. <sighs> Besides, we're the ones who sent the cultural festival down the tubes by treating you so badly. If you're gonna drop out, then I am too. It's the only fair thing to do. What? What are you saying? Yeah! He's got a point, you know! We all played a part in what happened to you. It isn't fair if you're the only one taking the fall. So if you're dropping out of school, so am I. Oh, no, why are you being so stupid again? You're the one being stupid, Kotoko. How is it you don't understand? <sighs> None of us blame you for our decisions. Besides, are you really gonna throw away everything Yagami-san's done for you? <sighs> Takanashi-san's right. If you're only quitting for our sakes, then you should already know this isn't the optimal outcome. That's right, Itokura. We were just as bad as you. Actually, we were even worse. All we had to do was be honest with you, but instead we just cut you out. Oh. <sighs> uh, well... 
sorry for ditching so many meetings and eating all the chips. And maybe I didn't have the best attitude, so, I mean, you shouldn't quit school. Itokura-san, look how many friends you have now. Don't you think it'd be best to join them at school? Really? Th that would be... okay? Itokura, come on back with us. <laughs> you guys... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yagami san. Thank you so much for everything. Yeah. Looks like you finally solved the case of the Serio High Professor. Yes. yes, and even better news, <laughs> the MRC is stronger than ever, with Itakura-san back in the fold with a brand new lease in life. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to it. Sis? Maybe she can even handle some of the club duties to so Sis can take back or take the back seat for a while to focus on studying for once in her life. <laughs> hey, that's oh no. I forgot about the mock exams coming up. <sighs> Whatever. I'm a Sao Senpai. In that case, would you like me to do some snooping around online? If I can find some answer keys for no. you. Um, no thanks. I'd rather not resurrect the professor for this. Plus, I'm still one of the better students here. Hey. Actually, maybe you should take her up on her offer then. All the other students you'll be going up against have been studying hard while you're out chasing cases. <sighs> I'll be fine. I'm sure of it. Probably. To some extent. I'm a Sawa. Cracking a case is good and all, but it'd still be bad news if you wound up failing your entrance exams over it. A truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur. <sighs> That's so unfair for you to use that in this situation. We done? Okay, I thought we are done. Well then, Yagami-san, thank you very much for everything. <laughs> See you tomorrow. That was nice though. Yeah, that was really nice. See you tomorrow, huh? Glad to hear it. Paint Seekers. No, it's over. Look. We've done all of it. 100% everything. We don't have anything anymore. Kyoko Hakase. Ooh. But yeah, we're not going to do that for now. So, yes. Um. We ended the school stories, boys. That was pretty good, right? Honestly, it was so nice at ending there. Uh. When you compare it to Judgment, when we had a side case, this one, as I said last episode, it felt like the side case we did in Judgment, right? Where all our friends are there. This one was like that, but the thing with this one is we had a lot of side, not side school stories. Basically, it's it's kind of like a main, like a main story, right? But on the side, that if they made this into a game, for example, they just put more dialogue in it made the cutscenes much better they could actually make that on a uh, like a separate uh side game right <laughs> because dude you, this is very long like more than 10 hours of story right it's insane that they made this sure the shorter side cases in this game is much more shorter especially the length of most of them there were there were some side cases that they were very long right but most of the side cases are just very short, especially especially the dastardly detective one, right? I think it was like eight side cases, nine side cases, and it was very long, less than an hour, I think, for all of those. But the school stories that they had in this game, it's just amazing. Sure, you can say, oh, it's just a lot of talk, right? 
but it's, not, it's nice for me personally i like stories so i liked watching them i like reading them some of the mini games can be quite boring uh, the robotics one it was good in the beginning then it, it kind of got boring and grindy the what else what else was the harder ones let me look um boxing gym was pretty fun i, I love the boxing gym a biker gang the biker gang was really hard by the end the last one yeah with suo's gang it was very very hard esports club not that much casino skaters photography photography was a pain girls bar the best so I'll rank my school stories as number one is the MRC, the Mystery Research Club. Very, very nice. Sorry to that. Pretty much uh, all of the stories, right? Ending there. So that's my number one. Number two is I really enjoyed the dance club as well. Yes, the rhythm game was very fun. I wish they had more songs to it. Third one, I'll give it to the boxing gym. The mini game itself is very fun story as well. Girls Bar, come on now. Emily, that's number four. Number five, I'll give it to the Biker Gang. We saw some characters from the first game there as well, right? It was very, very nice. Number six, the Robotics Club. Story was uh, okay. That's good. It's just a mini game. Could it be uh can be extremely grindy. Grindy. Number seven, I'll give it to. Hmm, it's very hard to choose, yeah. I'll give it to the skaters, I guess, number seven. Number eight to the esports club. Nine, the photography club, and ten, casino. Casino was really nothing, honestly. It was just like 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes of story, and it was nothing. Maybe they should have just added, like, the batting center, right? The batting, cl a batting club. I uh, would have loved it much better than just casino basketball they were showing basketball here in this game they didn't even include it in the clubs right but yeah or, or darts club yeah darts club i would have loved the darts club but yeah anyways we finished the school stories we're done with this one and we're mostly gonna do the main stories some girlfriends are still left we're gonna do that as well side cases maybe once in a while when we have uh some unlocked right now i think we've done every side case available that's not collecting stuff. There's a side case right now, right now that we need to collect like squirrel paintings or something. <laughs> and yeah, I'm not going to do that in the video. But yes, uh, next episode, we'll just continue with the main story. And I'll just see you then. So for now, bye-bye.